Hey Def Film, welcome back. It's Robert here. I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial on what we use to clone and sync our hard drives. So um, basically what we do when we have work is we have two hard drives um, for each, each uh, set of projects we have. Um, in our case we have two hard drives that are four terabytes each. And the reason we have two is that obviously there's two people, me and Xander, who work and edit on things. We're never editing the same project at the same time. But if someone is, if someone's holding one of the hard drives and something was to happen to it, then we would always have a backup of it. So we use this program here called Free File Sync, which is um, free. You can donate. It's pretty useful this is the website here freefilesync.org i'll link it in the description and if we go over to the actual application we have it right here i use this on my personal stuff as well but i'm going to show you the configuration we have for cloning the entire hard drive so basically the left and the right side are the two hard drive slots that you're going to use it doesn't really matter which side you pick first the we're going to start on the left we're going to press browse here we're going to click on the WP2A hard drive. And that is when we want to choose one hard drive, we'll just click on that. If we wanted to choose specific folders, you can do that as well. You can click on specific folders and then add more folders or add whatever. But when we do the big hard drives, we sync the entire hard drive. So we'll go on the right and we'll find the corresponding drive, which is WP2B. Usually, um, we'll just press synchronize, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you compare. So this is going to scan both drives to see what is inconsistent with the two. Maybe if something was updated on one side and something wasn't on the other side. As you can see here on the left side, on the A drive, a bunch of things were added and created. So with the setting we have now, it's going to bring that to the right side. and for the things that were in the A drive that aren't on the B drive, whatever one was updated latest. So if on the A drive we don't have a few items anymore because they were updated later, then they will be deleted from the B drive. It always knows the most recent update because it does put a little free file sync file in the hard drive to keep, to keep records of what has been updated latest. So if we click this green gear icon up here, you can see some of the options that uh, you have in free file sync the one that we use is two-way which is the best way to sync two drives if two people are using them at the same time again not with the same projects but if different folders are being updated it's a good way to sync both of them and have both sides kind of update at the same time the program will know which to update which not to update next is mirror mirror is just to mirror one side so if we wanted a to be like b and we never touched a b this would be useful if you had a backup drive and you never you never touch the backup because it's just the backup then you would mirror it you would mirror the main drive onto the backup then there's update which is the same thing as mirror um i'm pretty sure update is if you already had it mirrored and you don't want to copy everything over fresh again you just want to check what isn't on the right and then just copy whatever's there and then there's custom you have your own configuration rules we won't get into that but we will select two-way and synchronize i hope you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys around